welcome to George Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make the legs for Hedwig from the Aldi and Harry Potter Hedwig Crochet Kit. Uh, this is uh, number five in the series of our How to Make Hedwig videos. So if you need help for the head, body, beak, eyes, wings and tail, have a look on our channel and I'll link the videos below uh, otherwise we'll move straight on with the crochet so this is what your leg will look like when it's finished so I've made one obviously you need to make two and um, the very very similar process to how we made the wings and how we made the head and body so I've already started rounds one and two uh, of the leg. I've got my stitch marker in the final stitch of the round so I'm ready to start round three. So I thought I'd uh, just recap over the square brackets and things for people because this is slightly different. So we have a unit in square brackets times by four plus double crochet four. Okay, so this unit they want us to make an increase and then a single double crochet. So this increase will give us two stitches plus a single double crochet is three. times four so they want you to make that unit four times once you've finished the unit then you move on to this bit so that means putting one double crochet into the remaining four stitches in your round so that will give you a total of 16 stitches so I'll show you how that works out. So an increase is two, double crochet is one, in brackets is three, times four is twelve, plus another four is sixteen, which is the number in square brackets at the end of your row. So if you imagine that's the centre, and then round one, we've made uh, six stitches. And in round two, we made an increase into each of those, leaving us with 12 stitches in round two what we're going to do here so we're going to say this is our starting point so we're going to make an increase okay so we're going to make two stitches there and then we're going to do one and that's our unit so we'll repeat our unit again so we'll make two stitches there and then one we need to repeat the unit again, so I'll put two stitches there and one. And then we'll repeat it one last time, so we'll pop two stitches there and one, which leaves us one, two, three, four. So now we've finished round number three, we will undo our stitch marker and pop it on the final stitch of our round. And we're ready to start round number four. So this is a technique that hasn't been used in this pattern yet and they want us to crochet into the back loops only. 
Now this is a really simple thing to do. So when you have your piece of crochet, you're working into the stitches around the edge and you'll see along the top you've got these little V shapes. So imagine this is us and this is the front of our crochet and this is the back of our crochet. When we do a normal stitch we pass our hook through both parts of the V. When we want to go into the back loop only we just pass our hook through the back portion. If we wanted to do front loops only we would pass our hook through just the front loop. Okay, you continue to make the rest of the stitch as normal. It simply is just a case of putting your hook through one of the two parts of the V rather than both parts of the V. I will do you a little demonstration with uh, some slightly thicker yarn so you can see what I'm doing and then you'll be able to have a go yourself. So I have here some t-shirt yarn and a big six and a half millimeter hook and this is just a stitch keeper which I'm using as a marker for the end of my round. Now if I hold the crochet like this if you see around the edge, these are the V shapes I was talking about. So you have a piece here of the V and another piece here. This is the front of our work, this is the back of our work. If I make a normal double crochet, I'm going to pop my hook through both parts of that V and bring the yarn back. If I want to do a back loop only, I take my hook, put it on the top of my crochet and just push it through the back portion of the V. The same principle applies if you want to do front loops only. So you just take your hook and push it, pop it up so it comes through the front loop only. And it really is as simple as that. So with this round all you have to do is go through the back loops of all your stitches with one double crochet into each stitch. So have a go at that and I'll catch up with you in a little while. After you have made your back loop stitches, the pattern continues in a similar way to what it did at the beginning. So again we've got our unit with a multiplier which is exactly the same as the first set of units we did in the legs. However, instead of increasing, we're decreasing to bring our number of stitches down. And then after that it's just making one double crochet into each stitch. So by the time you've finished you will end up with two legs it asks you to leave a long tail for your sewing and then you can stuff your legs and add on the claws. I will show you how to do that when I sew up the entire Hedwig doll in a separate video. So that's all you need to know so far for making the legs. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and let me know in the comments. If you want to see more of our videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications by clicking the bell icon below this video. This will give you updates every time we release a new video so you'll be able to see it. If you have any questions or any problems, Please get in touch with us either in the comments here or find us on social media. Uh, we are on Facebook and Instagram and all the other platforms and we'll be more than happy to help you. Um, so until then, take care.